expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Are you a family caregiver? Are you caregiving for someone who can no longer take care of themselves? Are you overwhelmed? This is caregiversolutions.info with Marsha Teal. Marsha will be hosting an hour of true stories and information, tips and updates of the latest research and necessary information in the caregiving field, focusing on you, the family caregiver. An Alzheimer's disease and dementia care expert, Marsha has 15 years of hands-on experience at Arden Courts, a leader in assisted living dementia communities here in the U.S. Marsha covers everything you need to know as a family caregiver, especially if you care for a loved one with Alzheimer's disease or other related dementia or chronic illness. If you have a friend or relative that is also a family caregiver, call them now. They won't want to miss a minute. And let them know they can watch on caregiversolutions.info. And they can listen on WNN 1470 AM in South Florida or nationally on the iHeartRadio app. Now, sit back, relax, and learn from our host, Marsha Teal, as she brings information to you that may just be the caregiving solution you need. Hi, and welcome to our program today. I want to tell you that we've had some very exciting guests on the show. We have another one today for you. I'm very glad that you joined in to caregivingsolutions.info because this program was created just for you, the family caregiver, that brings professional experts right to you via the web, via the radio, so that we can provide information that will give you the info that you need to help solve your caregiving issues. And so we're glad you joined us today. I'm very excited for our show. It's something that I think is very interesting to a lot of people. It's going to help prevent a lot of um, confusion going forward. And so let's just get right into it. Uh, I want to welcome to our show this this, uh, evening, uh, J.D. Denisenzo, he is a mortgage specialist. He also specializes in reverse mortgages. But J.D. is also a certified mortgage planner, a certified senior advisor, and the reverse mortgage specialist. So he wears a lot of different hats, all within the financial field. And you might wonder why he's here to talk about mortgages and reverse mortgages. But it's very interesting uh, for anybody to learn, but especially for people that are considering maybe uh, getting some financial assistance down the road to help with uh, life planning, uh, maybe other alternatives for living. And so he's going to be educating us today on all of that, and we're very excited to have him. So welcome. Well, thank you, Marsha. It's a pleasure to be here. So you've been, I've known you a very long time, Mm -hmm. and you've been... um, educating people and helping people and I've actually referred people to you for help and so tell me um, a little bit about how long you've been doing this and uh, some of the things that you love about doing this. Well I've been doing mortgages for the last 15 years uh, and most of the time I've been doing reverse mortgages uh, and um, I enjoy helping seniors. I, I love working with the, the senior population. It reminds me of my grandparents. Yes. Which are gone. But uh, it's, it's, I, I've been able to make uh, a lot of um, uh, improvements and help seniors uh, through reverse mortgages. So it's a satisfying experience Ab- for you. Absolutely. Because, absolutely. you know, being in it for so long, for 15 years, obviously it has to be something that you love doing because, you know, we always say if you love what you do, it's not work. That's right. And also, if you love what you do, you have a passion for it, and it just kind of feeds itself because when you realize that you can help people out there by doing something that you like to do, it's a win-win for everybody. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. So well, that's great. So I have a question, J.D. Sure. Everybody knows pretty much what a mortgage is because they buy a house. You have to get a mortgage to pay for it. You pay the bank. And so, you know, that's something that as we go through life, hopefully eventually everyone can buy a house to live in and they get a mortgage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everybody knows that. But you're a reverse mortgage specialist. Okay. So it's kind of weird because, you know, reverse means going backwards. It's what I think. You have so, to think in reverse. You have, you have to think in reverse. So, okay, <laughs> right. so we're going to shift, okay? We're going to 
Uh, I'm in park right now, <laughs> all right? right. And, and so now I've got to go into reverse. So can you please explain to us what exactly is a reverse mortgage and what's the difference between a regular mortgage and a reverse mortgage? Okay. Well, um, reverse mortgages, I'll tell you, are probably the most misunderstood product in the mortgage industry. And in a traditional forward mortgage, you uh, borrow money and every month you make a payment and the balance of the mortgage goes down. Right, right, right. That's what I have. In a, in, a, in a reverse mortgage, you basically get a mortgage uh, and you get a sum of money from the bank, uh, but the mortgage balance goes up because you don't make a mortgage payment with a reverse mortgage. You don't make a payment. You never make a reverse mortgage payment uh, as long as you have that mortgage, but the balance increases as opposed to decreases. So you're accruing interest every month, um, but you're not making a payment. Well, when you said the bank gives you money, they're giving you the actual money you put in your bank account? Um, <clears throat> reverse mortgages are considered a return of equity of the home. So let's take, for example, somebody that owns their home free and clear. Right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> we give them a portion of their equity back to them uh, in either a lump sum distribution, a monthly payment, or a credit line that they can draw down on if and when they need it. So let's assume that they take a lump sum distribution. Uh, typically in a reverse mortgage, you can only borrow about 50 to 60% of the value of the property. So let's say 50% on a, on a $300,000 home, okay. $150,000. Right. Um, <clears throat> so if we give that to you as a lump sum. That you're going to give me $150,000. That I can take a physical check and put it in my bank account. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a, a few uh, caveats to that. You can only take so much in the first year, and then the rest is available in the second year. But okay. uh, in theory, yes. Okay. So what happens uh, with the reverse mortgage is that every month, uh, an interest charge is accrued to the mortgage balance. Okay. You get a statement just like you do with like a regular, a regular mortgage. Right. interest on the mortgage. It shows that this. Okay, if you started out with one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Next month, your your balance might be one hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. Okay, based upon on the on interest, right. there's a certain interest rate right. that's it's based it's on. It's accruing interest, mm -hmm. but you're not making any payment. <clears throat> the mortgage does need to be paid off at some point in the future, uh, when it's no, no longer your primary home. So, at some point in the future, you're going to pay back the original amount of money that you borrowed, plus any interest that you accrued. Okay, so that's a whole another ball game than what is a normal mortgage, right. all right? And it's it sounds confusing, and that's why, I, you know, I'm glad you're explaining it to us because a lot of people have um, heard about reverse mortgages because this, how long, how, how old is that concept? Well, actually, reverse mortgages have been around for over 50 years. No way. Yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah, the first one was done um, back in 19, I believe it was 1955 by a company called Deering Savings in Portland, Maine. Is that right? That's and, interesting. And unfortunately, some of the early reverse mortgages didn't have enough safeguards in place to protect seniors. So um, it was in the 80s under the Reagan administration. HUD and FHA decided that it would be in the best interest of our, our aging population if reverse mortgages were overseen by FHA and HUD. So these are um, governed by the U.S. government, right? Uh, and the, the modern-day reverse mortgage, which has been around for about 25 years now, is called a HECM, or Home Equity Conversion Mortgage. And that's different from a regular home equity loan. Absolutely. Wow, there's so many vehicles here that, you know, we're, we're driving this car, and we're going forward, and now we're going in reverse, and, and now I'm jumping into a different vehicle because, you know, this car is different than this truck or this van. So if you think about it like that, right, there's mm -hmm. different vehicles that, that people can use to um, use their home. Right. Um, you know, as and, and do different vehicles, whether they're going to go in reverse or whether they're going to go forward. And so if you use that analogy, it kind of makes sense. Right. And, and, and as I said, the, the modern reverse mortgage has a lot of safeguards in place that the government has, uh, you know, done so that the senior is protected. Well, we right? absolutely want to be protected. Right. I mean, back then um, it was new, so they were probably kind of figure it out. Right, and a, and a lot of the misconceptions that still occur today are a result of the reverse mortgages that were done many, many, many years ago before I'm, they were governed well, by okay. the government. Okay, and I'm glad you brought that up because 
I've heard pros and cons, mm -hmm. and I've actually heard in different, maybe reading articles in the newspaper or whatever, um, that, you know, yes, a reverse mortgage is great. It can help you. Or, no, it's bad. Don't do one. You know, it's not a good thing. Why, why is there controversy with this? I mean, why do people have two different strong opinions about it? Well, again, there's a, there are a lot of misconceptions that stem back from the original reverse mortgages, and, and they were justified. Really? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but today's modern reverse mortgage has enough safeguards in place. And I'll give you an example of just one. Yeah, give me an example. <clears throat> um, let's say that one of your clients comes to me and wants to do a reverse mortgage, and I think it's right for them, and they think it's right for them, and they want to move forward. Well, that's all well and good, but we can't move forward with the process until they speak with an independent, third-party, HUD-approved counseling agency. So they, the counseling agency will make sure that they understand what the reverse mortgage is, what their obligations are while they have that mortgage, and how the mortgage eventually will unwind. So you'll explain it to your client, mm -hmm. but HUD representative also explains it to the client. A HUD-approved agent, a counseling HUD, agency. A HUD-approved counseling agency. Right. Is there a charge for that? Uh, there is. Uh, it's, uh, it's a third-party charge fee that's okay. paid directly to the counseling agency. Um, if it's paid up front uh, at the time of counseling, it's $95. Okay. But that's a good investment to make sure that you're making the right decision if this actual vehicle is good for you. Right. Well, they want to make sure that they, there's not an unscrupulous loan officer that's trying to force somebody into doing something purely for generating a commission. Okay. So... We're talking about cars and vehicles. Mm -hmm. So this HUD-approved agent, right, mm -hmm. is sort of like when you go to buy a car and you've, you're buying a used car and you're not sure, you know, with um, the history of the car and you don't know whether it's been through a flood, how many accidents it's been in, and you want to have it checked out by your mechanic and your mechanic's going to charge you $99 to check out that car, say, you know, the transmission's fine, it needs new tires, but overall, you know, yes, I think this is a good move to buy this car, or he might say, you know what, this is a clunker, and you shouldn't buy it, and you're paying the mechanic well-spent money to help you make that decision. It's a great analogy. Isn't that kind of what Ab you're saying? Absolutely. I love that. Absolutely. And, in fact, another, another safeguard uh, when, when we do a proposal for a client, prior to them going to the counseling agency, we must, by law, show them three different scenarios of a reverse mortgage. What do you mean, scenarios? Well, I'll tell you. When I first started doing reverse mortgages 15 years ago, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the term reverse mortgage defined a specific product. Today, the term reverse mortgage defines a class of products. There are multiple types of... Of reverse mortgages. So that's like Toyota is the class Correct. of the car, of the vehicle, but you have a Camry or a Corolla Absolutely. or, you know, even a Lexus in, right. within that. So there's different types within the class, just like cars. You might want to buy a Toyota, but what kind of Toyota you're going to well, get, right? Exactly. And same thing, right? You might want a sedan if you're a family person. You right. might need an SUV. You might need a pickup truck. Right. So depending on what your needs or are. Or a compact car. Right. So if I want a little it help, I right. might a little car, a <laughs> little, I might want a compact and or, you know, like you said, the sedan. And then I might want to go whole hog and get everything I can with the minivan or right. the van. Depending on what your needs are. Right. Are the, uh, depends on what we suggest for you as the best solution. Well, that's good. So people have choices. So Absolutely. So you're not going to get a car or a mortgage that doesn't meet your needs because obviously you know if you have a family of six you're not going to get a, a, a you know a corvette for instance or in a chevrolet <laughs> because that just wouldn't work for That's you right. all right so you're going to get a, one of the the big vans and you go to chevrolet so that makes sense okay right. so now you've got your scenarios so so that's part of the process the interview process that i go through there's a lot of questions that we ask our clients whether I, whether i'm doing a forward mortgage or a reverse mortgage there's you know, the interview process is, is, is somewhat probing, right? So I need to know what your needs are, both short-term and long-term. Okay. Right? And, and they, they, those, those questions are relevant for 
again, forward mortgage clients as well as reverse mortgage clients. So how long is that process that you ask? I mean, someone comes in, they meet with you. Is that what you do? And you, well, or you do it on the telephone? There's different we, ways? Yeah, we do it. But most, most of my senior clients would prefer to meet with me face-to-face, whether they come to my office, whether I go to their home. And you have such a nice face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And so uh, we're here with J.D. Dinesenzo. He is a mortgage specialist specializing not only in regular mortgages but reverse mortgages that we're talking about and it's very interesting i'm learning a lot i hope you are too so we're going to go to our first commercial and we'll be back with more stay tuned right from the heart assist families in finding the right living arrangements for their aging parents founded in 2012 by sharon agate senior life consultant sharon has counseled seniors and their families for over 20 years in clinical settings and in independent assisted living and memory care communities Finding the right community can be overwhelming and time-consuming. Right from the heart takes the stress and worry from you. Sharon will personally meet mom or dad and evaluate their needs and lifestyle preferences and develop a plan at no cost to you. She will accompany you to visit selected communities and guide you every step of the way so you can be assured you're making a well-informed decision. Call Sharon at 561 374 46 Nine, six. Sharon's promise to you is in your knowing that her advice will always come right from the heart. Arden Courts is not just a place to live. It's a place to call home. Residential living combined with quality caregiving. This is the philosophy behind Arden Courts. Communities created exclusively for individuals with Alzheimer's disease and related dementia who would benefit from a safe and structured environment. For additional information about any of the unique services Arden Courts provides, call 888-478-2410 to locate a community nearest you. Inquire about our educational seminars, resource library, or support groups, or simply feel free to ask questions you may have about Alzheimer's and related dementias. At Arden Courts, we know, we understand, and we can help because memory care is all we do. Remember, Call 888-478-2410 for additional information about any of the unique services Arden Courts provides. You are listening to your host, Marsha Teal, an Alzheimer's disease and dementia care expert on caregiversolutions.info. If you have a question or wish to share a story, call into the show at 888-565-1470 and talk with Marsha now. Back to Caregiver Solutions. Hi, welcome back to caregiversolutions.info. We are so glad you joined us. I want to thank our national sponsor, Arden Court's Memory Care Community, for making this show possible. Um, I want to thank them for all the help that they give caregivers each and every day. They are our national sponsor because they're located all across the United States, sprinkled in different states, over 50 different Arden Courts memory care communities. And the important thing to know about that is that they are dementia specific. And so if you're dealing as a caregiver with um, someone that has dementia, you don't know at what point you're going to need more help or or what your options are, you want to make sure to give Arden Courts a call because Arden Courts is the expert in the field of dementia-assisted living, and they're going to help you. They're going to give you resources. They're going to give you lots of information that you can use and you can visit um, whichever Arden Courts is closest to you. Arden Courts is very big on educating the caregivers because the more a caregiver knows about dementia care, about their options, the better off they will be, the better choices they will make, and the happier they will be and the person caring for them will be. So thank you, Arden Courts. We appreciate it. Arden Courts is giving away this month to you, the viewing audience, a free copy of the 36-hour day, which is actually written by Dr. Peter Rabins, and it's been the Bible of caregivers for many, many years. It's one of the first books that came out about caregiving, and you don't want to not have a copy of this because you will learn so much. And the reason they call it the 36-hour day is because 24 hours a day is not enough for a family caregiver to deal with everything they have to do, and they feel like they've been working 
36 hours in the day. That's how much more stress is put upon a family caregiver. So to help educate you, help relieve some of your uh, caregiving problems, Art and Courts is providing this book free to you. All you have to do is call the 800 number of Art and Courts, which is 888-478-2410. I'll say that again, 888 888- Four seven eight two four one zero, and talk to them. It's answered by a live person right here in the United States, and they answer the phone three hundred sixty five days a week or year. And um, yeah, that would be really funny if they had that many uh, days in the week because you really would be a stressed out caregiver then. Uh, and so even on holidays and weekends, you can call because as we all know, caregiving doesn't end. Uh, nights, weekends, and holidays. Uh, the line is open from uh, 9 a.m. Uh, to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So give them a call. Tell them that you would like to have the 36-hour day book sent to you, and tell them you heard about it on caregiversolutions.info. So back in the studio now with J.D. Denisenzo. He is a mortgage specialist. Um, we're talking about reverse mortgages. We're talking about uh, the differences, the different types of reverse mortgages out there. So I'm very excited because I'm learning a lot. So uh, thank you again for coming and My being pleasure. with us for this important part of our show today. And so tell me a little bit um, about, you mentioned there's different what did you call them, different types of reverse mortgages? Right. Okay. As I said, re- the term reverse mortgage defines a class of products in the mortgage industry. And just to, to, to revisit what I had mentioned earlier, uh, you can receive money a, a couple of different ways, lump sum, okay. um, monthly payments, uh, and, or, or a credit line. So there, there are two primary categories uh, in reverse mortgages. You can either get a fixed rate reverse mortgage or an adjustable rate reverse mortgage. Just like on a regular mortgage, you have those choices. Absolutely. And which which uh, uh, we use depends on the needs of the client. So let's take a look at fixed rate first, because that traditionally is the most conservative, right? Mm-hmm, you right. have no interest rate risk. You know what to expect. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, and, and that's the good side of it. Right. The bad side of it is that you must take all of your money at one time at closing. Okay. Right? And a lot of people don't need all of their money at one time, so they would be better off to take a monthly distribution or have a credit line (coughs) available to them. So that's when we flip to the uh, adjustable rate mortgage. Now, (coughs) so the adjustable rate allows more distribution options to to the senior, also allows for the lowest interest rate, currently around 2.875 on an adjustable. That's good. On the fixed, right now it's about 4.875. Nine nine. Okay, right? so, so very competitive. Right, I was going right. to say, you know, if you're out there looking different banks, different things like that, that's a very competitive rate. That's the going rate right now. Right. Okay. Right. Um, so, so the adjustable again has the lowest rate, uh, offers more um, options, but it does ha- have some interest rate risks. Now, when I when I speak to my forward mortgage clients about adjustable rate products, um, a lot of people are sh- uh, tend to shy away from the adjustable product because they don't want to be subject to interest rate risk, right? Right. And that, that, that's a big uh, issue for somebody that's writing a check every month. That's right. right. Well, how much risk is there? How often could the interest rate jump? Well, again, there's monthly adjusting products and there's annual adjusting products. We typically put our clients into the annually adjusted uh, product. It's uh, t- tied to um, LIBOR, which is Lon- London Interbank Offer Rate, which is a very stable index. like like U.S. Treasuries uh, um, uh, or um, Prime, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, But LIBOR tends to be a, a more world-class uh, basket of funds, which has been more stable over over time. Okay. So, all right, so we kind of know now a lot more than, well, we do know a lot more than we knew before, at least I do. And we're talking about reverse mortgages and the different kinds of reverse mortgages within that classification. Right. But... Give me an example, if you can, about a, like a scenario of why someone would actually even think about or consider or check out a reverse mortgage. What kind of scenario would someone be in to where that might be a benefit to them? Well, <clears throat> I, have, I have plenty over 15 years I could <laughs> give you, but um, 
Give, given the audience that we're we're speaking to, let's let's say that we have somebody um, who is a caregiver taking care of their loved one, right? right? Uh, the cost of care, um, you, you know, um, and health care is always Astronomical, rising. Astronomical, right? Yeah. So if they have a home, uh, they may want to be able to tap into that equity in their home to help pay for the health care costs. Okay, right? so that's... So, a- and I'll give you a perfect example. Okay, good. All right. I had a client uh, recently who had her home paid for free and clear. Uh, <clears throat> How old was this client about? Uh, she was 70. In this, right? Okay, 70. And unfortunately, her husband was in an um, Alzheimer's facility. All right. right? So... She saw her assets being depleted, uh, her her investments being depleted. And the one thing we don't like to see our, our seniors do, uh, because a lot of them have invested money to um, uh, into investments that throw off cash to them on a monthly basis. Like stocks. Stocks. For um, dividends. CDs. Right. right. Um, maybe they're tapping into a 401k or an IRA or something like that. Right. So they're, they've, they've, they've had this money that they've invested all along for their retirement for their retirement right. for their health care to, to live on right okay but as the, the cost of living increases they find that they have to start eroding the principal which then erodes the monthly income right, right. so let's assume that you have the house over here that's free and clear right and you can tap into that equity right um, the house is still appreciating at least Today it is, right? Right. Um, but you can tap into that equity and allow your assets still to throw off the cash that you put them there for in the first place to fund your retirement. So in this scenario, the the wife was paying for assisted living for her husband who had dementia. Right. Okay. We all know that, you know, that's a, a big expense because for good quality care, you know, you... you, it's, you not, it's not cheap. It, it's not. And... Um, and so she's paying this, but she realized that maybe she needed some more resources. Right. And so she probably um, felt a little bit, felt easier, I guess, about the future because she did have another resource. Yeah, and, and, and interestingly enough, both, um, I was referred to her by two, two professionals, her financial planner and her estate planning attorney. Wow. That, that's interesting because right. uh, everybody kind of works together. When you have the right professionals in your pocket and they work with the other professionals that they know and trust, you can actually expand your network of professionals then that can help you. So they referred uh, you to this lady. Right. And so did she end up doing a yeah. reverse mortgage? Yeah, she did. She, she did. did. Yep. Okay. And, and you know, it was funny. She was um, a little bit... Um, apprehensive at first because she had heard a lot of bad things about reverse mortgage. Right. I I went out to visit her and explained, and I told her the truth about reverse mortgages. There's a lot of hearsay, right? But when you learn the truth, uh, then you realize um, it's actually a very good product for the right person. Right. It's not right for everybody. It's not right for everybody. Absolutely not. Yeah. How many people would you say on average or as a percentage don't it's not right for. Is there a percentage of people that might not qualify or it's not a good deal for them? I would tell you uh, um, throughout my career, I would probably say I've, I've advised about 20% of the clients not to do the reverse. Not mortgage. to do it. Not to, right? S- right. For because, specific reasons. Right. But you're going to give them the truth. You're right. going to look at their whole picture. And that's why I have you here because you are an expert and you are very trustworthy um, um, from from what I know, and so people feel comfortable dealing with people that they can trust. Sure. And so, if you were to say to somebody, "This isn't for you," they might actually be surprised because they might expect someone to sell them on something, wh- whether it was good or not. I don't. I don't sell reverse mortgages. I educate people and then I advise them. Okay. That's right. So, so as I said, twenty percent of the people that I've spoken with, I've said, "I don't think it's right for you." So that leaves 80% of the people. There's another 5% that say, I don't think it's right for me, even though you think it's right for me. Okay. So well, they, they don't have, do it. Well, that's your choice. The remaining 75% of the people that agreed with my recommendation, right. and here's the proof in the pudding. Okay. I've never had one of those people come back to me and say, I made a mistake. Wow. Or their children. Right. And that is a good testimonial. Right. 
Right. Yeah. Because, you know, adult children, sometimes they have different ideas. Oh, mom, dad, what did you do? This wasn't good. And, you know, they want to come in and, and take over the situation and put their own opinions in. And so this was great that they also agreed with the plan that you put in place. Right. And I, I always encourage my clients, if you want your children, your financial advisor, your estate planning attorney to be here at the meeting, absolutely. Or I'll talk with them directly. Uh, because what we want to make sure is the children feel comfortable knowing that their parents are being taken care of and that they're not living under a bridge or they're not living in the children's guest room. That's right. right? That's right. So it's important for them to be involved, to have the family, to everybody's on the same page. Make sure you have the other professionals that in your life that will also confirm what's going on. So mm-hmm. I think that's a very, very valid point. Um, so we're going to be talking some more about this issue uh when we come back we're going to be doing a commercial in a few minutes and so i want you to think um while we're going to commercial about some scenarios um that why someone besides you know maybe paying for current expenses what what else is out there what other types of scenarios would somebody maybe need the money for um you know instead of just paying for a monthly expense and I know you have lots of stories that you I can do. share with us and so we're going to be coming back with um, JD Denisenzo and he's going to be talking to us in the meantime before we break I want to make sure that you do go to Arden Courts at our 800 number which is 888-478-2410 and request your free copy of the 36 hour day written by Dr. Peter Rabins. We'll be glad to mail this out to you at no cost. It's a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of. It's a great book. Um, It will be talking in this book about dementia, about Alzheimer's, what's the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia. It talks about uh, caregiving issues, how to deal with them, lots of good tips and lots of good information. And so please call us. Um, They will be very happy to talk to you about anything you want to talk about related to Alzheimer's and dementia care. And so we're going to be going to commercial break. And when we come back, we'll hear more from JD, uh, the mortgage specialist and reverse mortgage mortgage specialist. So stay tuned. Grab a pen because you're going to be given some really important information and a phone number to call that will really help you. Did you know that the law allows people to protect assets and qualify for Medicaid? Did you know that Medicaid can pay for home care, assisted living, and nursing home care at even the best facilities and with even the best of agencies? Hi, I'm Scott Solkoff and I write the book on Florida elder law. My father and I have authored the leading textbook on Florida elder law, now in its 14th edition. I lecture, I train, I teach other lawyers and judges all about the law, and I can teach you too. I love teaching and advising my elderly clients and their families. Good elder law planning can save the family nest egg and result in a tremendous difference in quality of care. Board certified elder law attorneys, I'm board certified, are specialists in planning for incapacity, wills, and trusts, and protecting assets against the cost of long-term care. Come in and see me. I charge $250 for a two-hour meeting, and I don't think I've ever had one person tell me it wasn't worth many times that amount. We don't do free meetings, which often are nothing more than a sales pitch from someone who really needs the business. Call me at 561-733-4242 I've been in business for over 20 years doing just this work and am certified as a specialist by the Florida Bar. Set an appointment. That's 561-733-4242. Come see me in my Delray Beach office on Atlantic Avenue. You just have to call my office at 561-733-4242. And I'm Scott Solkoff. Let me help you protect your assets, qualify for Medicaid or VA benefits, have greater peace of mind knowing that it's been done and a higher quality of life. So again, call me, Scott Solkoff, at 561-733-4242. And remember, call your parents, not just to tell them about Scott Solkoff, just to tell them that you love them and appreciate them. I'm going to call my parents now. The hiring of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based on advertisements alone. You can call our office at 561-733-4242 to get more information about our qualifications and expertise. 
Right from the Heart assists families in finding the right living arrangements for their aging parents. Founded in 2012 by Sharon Agate, Senior Life Consultant. Sharon has counseled seniors and their families for over 20 years in clinical settings and in independent assisted living and memory care communities. Finding the right community can be overwhelming and time consuming. Right from the Heart takes the stress and worry from you. Sharon will personally meet mom or dad and evaluate their needs and lifestyle preferences and develop a plan at no cost to you. She will accompany you to visit selected communities and guide you every step of the way so you can be assured you're making a well-informed decision. Call Sharon at 561-374-4696. Sharon's promise to you is in your knowing that her advice will always come right from the heart. You are listening to your host, Marsha Teal, an Alzheimer's disease and dementia care expert on caregiversolutions.info. If you have a question or wish to share a story, call into the show at 888-565-1470 and talk with Marsha. Now, back to Caregiver Solutions. Welcome back to caregiversolutions.info. I want to thank Arden Courts, our national sponsor. And locally, I want to thank Sharon Agad with Right from the Heart. She is a senior lifestyle consultant, and I've had the opportunity to work with her. She is awesome. So if you're a senior and you're looking to make a change into maybe independent living or assisted living, and you're not sure what kind of... Um, living arrangement is best for you you can feel free in knowing that sharon will be able to help you at no cost to you just give her a call write this down 561-374-4696 she'll meet with you on uh, plan something that you will be comfortable with you'll be happy with uh, help you through the process of uh, knowing where to go what to do and what questions to ask so uh, give Sharon a call right from the heart because the information she gives is uh, definitely worth um, uh, your time and attention and it is coming right from the heart I also want to thank um, our other sponsor Solkoff Legal which I've also had the opportunity to work with many many times and so if you're looking for an elder law attorney um, give them a call as well they have a wonderful staff a very friendly and uh, tell them that you heard about them on caregiversolutions.info. So we're back here in our studio today with J.D. Dinicenzo, and he is a reverse mortgage specialist. And so, J.D., we've talked about people getting reverse mortgages, what they are, different kinds of reverse mortgages. Mm -hmm. We had the scenario of a wife who was using proceeds from a reverse mortgage to pay for her husband's expenses in a dementia assisted living and so that was a very good thing for her but tell me some other reasons or some other ways that people can use that equity in their home for getting a reverse mortgage some other scenarios that might be interesting for people to know about sure L let me begin by saying when i started doing reverse mortgages um, it was seen as a needs-based product. Um, when people ran out of money, they did a reverse mortgage. Uh, as the product has moved into the mainstream, really within the last five years, uh, more and more uh, savvy uh, homeowners, financial planners, estate planning attorneys are realizing that it's a great financial tool. Uh, and it's being used in a couple of different ways from a financial planning perspective. How so? Uh, I'll give you a real-life example. I, I love real-life <laughs> examples. That's what this show is about, real-life examples. I had a client come in uh, who was 62, which is the minimum age to do a reverse mortgage. Okay, so you, that's the first thing. You have to be at least 62 to, Correct. to qualify. That's right. one of the first qualifications. Right. Uh, so she was thinking about taking early Social Security. Right, and right. a lot of people are debating that all the time. Right. Do, do I take it at 62, 65, 7, whatever, right? right? So, she, that so was, we looked at a couple of different scenarios of how much uh, she would receive at 62, okay. at 66, uh -huh. and at 70 and a half. Right. right. By delaying taking Social Security until she was 70 and a half, she increased her monthly benefit by $1,100 a month. Sure. It goes right? up a percentage every year you delay it. Right. So she had a home that was free and clear. Okay. So what she decided to do was that she was going to take periodic draws uh, from the reverse mortgage over the next seven or was eight years. Until she reached maximum age to take her Social Security. Right. All right. So I'm with you so far. Right. 
And, and again, it was the, the benefit was increased Social Security over, the, um, over her lifetime. Okay, so that's well and good because now she has an income coming from her home mm-hmm. and doesn't have to tap in yet to Social Security and take a lesser amount. Right. But how does it work? When, obviously, she has to pay the money back. She only pays the money back when she moves out of the home and it's no longer her primary residence. And that's one of the criteria that I look for when I speak with my clients. How long do you want to stay in the home? That's one of the first questions I ask. Uh, and, and when somebody tells me that they want to live in their home as long as they can, right? and when they die, they want to be planted in the backyard, <laughs> well. I say you're, 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 a, you're a good candidate for a reverse mortgage, right? We, we like to see a long period of time that they want to remain in the home. Okay, right? so with this example of the lady that was 62, that was the first qualification. Obviously, she's young, mm-hmm. so she wants to live there. She likes her house. She's not planning on moving. M- most seniors want to stay in their home. Eighty percent of seniors want to stay in their home as long as they can. All right, so right? she's not. She's going to, like you say, plan on living there forever until she dies. Right. So let's say she does, and she dies one day, and what happens next? Okay. So once the the homeowner is no longer in in, in the home, they've either moved to on to assisted living. Oh, she doesn't or, have to die for this to happen. No, no just no, no, out no. of the home permanently. Permanently out of the home, right? Okay. Um, Maybe she'll go live with her son in Ohio. Right. Okay. The obligation is to pay off the reverse mortgage. The house doesn't have to be sold, but the reverse mortgage has to be paid off. Right. Okay. Because that's what you've borrowed. So, so let's assume that um, the house was at the time was worth three hundred thousand dollars when she moved out of the house. Okay. The reverse mortgage maybe had a balance now of two hundred thousand dollars. So there's still a hundred thousand dollars worth of equity in the home. Okay. okay? Uh, the home might be sold for three hundred. Uh, two hundred thousand dollars of the proceeds is used to pay off the reverse mortgage. Okay. The hundred thousand dollars of equity that's left belongs to the homeowner. Right? It still belongs to her. Right. Right. So she can, after the home is sold, if there's any remaining equity, she it, gets it back. Right. Any remaining equity at that time. Right. So if we're in a good economy, and she's continuing to get appreciation right. in her house. And Future appreciation belongs to the homeowner as well. Okay. All right. So when she sells it, pays off the reverse mortgage, gets the balance of the equity that she can use for anything she wants. Right. I, I should note that if she were to pass away, yes, right, uh, that equity then goes Well, she to, will. We just don't know right. when. Okay. <laughs> uh, of course she will. Uh, but if, if she passes away right. uh, and the any remaining equity, then it goes to her estate, Right. Right. Or her heirs. Right? Okay. Again, it stays in the family. Right. It does not belong to the bank. Any remaining equity um, belongs to the homeowner or her estate. Now, the opposite could happen. Right. Let's say that the 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 mortgage was above the value of the home. That she was technically upside down. Because. Of well, let's say that we had another housing. Crisis. Exactly. Okay. When all of a sudden the price, the the value of our homes decreased significantly. So let's say that her balance was two hundred thousand dollars, but her home was only worth one hundred and fifty. Uh oh. Now what? Well, she's upside down by by fifty thousand dollars. Right. Remember, I said earlier in the show that these are uh, overseen by HUD and FHA. So there's protection for the seniors. Right. All FHA loans, whether they're forward or reverse mortgage, have something called mortgage insurance on them. And in a reverse mortgage, the mortgage insurance ensures that you can never owe more than the value of the home, regardless of the balance. Really? It's called a non-recourse loan. So That's great. Yeah. So in that scenario, um, the um, home would be sold for one fifty because that's the value. That's how much the market is right. The the market is saying this is what the current market value is. Right. All right. Proceeds go to the bank to to settle part of the r- reverse mortgage because balance. Because she owes 200000 Correct. So right. that 150 goes to the bank to right. take care of the reverse so, mortgage. So and what def- happens to the difference? The deficiency of $50,000 yes. is paid for by the mortgage insurance through FHA. And she owes no more. That's correct. The estate wouldn't owe any more or the heirs wouldn't owe any more. So when you look at it, if there's equity left, it belongs to the homeowner. If there's no equity left, uh, 
FHA insurance is going to pay for. So it really becomes a win-win situation. That's that's amazing. Yeah. I mean, really, if you think about that, it's like um, you don't really have the risk, but you have all the benefits. Right. I'll give you another example that's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of my senior clients are, are um, concerned about transference of wealth to the next generation. Right. right? Because they have... They've been very successful. They have a, right. a lot of assets. I, I'm working with more and more affluent clients doing reverse mortgages. They Why would they do it? Well, they're, they're doing it for either to pay buy long-term health care insurance if they still qualify, right? Which we know how important that is. Very, yes. Uh, and they're using it to buy life insurance. So here's another perfect example. Okay. I had a client who had a $500,000 home that was free and clear. He had $500,000 worth of assets. So his net worth is a million dollars, right? Why would anybody do, like that do That's a That's why I'm mortgage, thinking, why would right? they do a, a reverse mortgage? So his financial planner said, Mr. Client, you're worth a million dollars. If we want to make sure we transfer as much wealth to your children as possible, let's go out and buy a million dollar life insurance policy, okay, to cover your assets, right? Now, the question becomes, how do you pay for that policy, right? So you can either monetize the assets, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, which are income producing, or you monetize the house. Okay. So he's monetizing the house, and he's taking the month or the annual premiums out uh, from the reverse mortgage proceeds to pay the life insurance policy. Now, if there's any equity left in the house when he passes away, let's say there's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Right. The kids get that equity. They get the five hundred thousand dollars worth of assets. Plus the million dollars. He's just increased his transference of wealth to his children. Wow. Now, that's what you call being creative, right? Yeah. Uh, as, I mean, as I said, it's becoming more of a planning tool to a lot a of seniors. A planning tool. And that's another way to use your your own asset of your home that, you've, that you have that you can tap into. It's like borrowing your own money in a right. way. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yep. Wow. That's amazing. I, I totally... Um, get it now, you know, and I'm so glad you explained all of that and the differences. We're going to be right back with some last comments uh, from J.D. Dincenzo um, about reverse mortgages and uh, let you know how to contact him so that you can get information about your own personal situation. We'll be right back. Right from the heart, assist families in finding the right living arrangements for their aging parents. Founded in 2012 by Sharon Agate, Senior Life Consultant. Sharon has counseled seniors and their families for over 20 years in clinical settings and in independent assisted living and memory care communities. Finding the right community can be overwhelming and time consuming. Right from the heart takes the stress and worry from you. Sharon will personally meet mom or dad and evaluate their needs and lifestyle preferences and develop a plan at no cost to you. She will accompany you to visit selected communities and guide you every step of the way so you can be assured you're making a well-informed decision. Call Sharon at 561-374-4696. Sharon's promise to you is in your knowing that her advice will always come right from the heart. Arden Courts is not just a place to live. It's a place to call home. Residential living combined with quality caregiving. This is the philosophy behind Arden Courts. Communities created exclusively for individuals with Alzheimer's disease and related dementia who would benefit from a safe and structured environment. For additional information about any of the unique services Arden Courts provides, call 888 478 2410 to locate a community nearest you. Inquire about our educational seminars, resource library, or support groups, or simply feel free to ask questions you may have about Alzheimer's and related dementias. At Arden Courts, we know, we understand, and we can help because memory care is all we do. Remember, call 888 478 2410 for additional information about any of the unique services Arden Courts provides. You are listening to your host, Marsha Teal, an Alzheimer's disease and dementia care expert on caregiversolutions.info. If you have a question or wish to share a story, call into the show at 888-565-1470 and talk with Marsha. Now, back to Caregiver Solutions. 
Welcome back to caregiversolutions.info where this program provides information to you by professional experts in the field of their expertise to give you information to use that can help solve your caregiving problems. And so welcome back. Uh, We're at the end of our segment. I'm very happy that you've continue to view us and listen to us on the radio. And I want to thank again Arden Courts. I love Arden Courts. If you're looking for uh, an excellent option for dementia, assisted living, for care for a loved one that just can't be at home anymore for lots of different reasons, um, but they don't need a nursing home, then you want to check out Arden Courts because Arden Courts provides care, personalized care for dementia, Alzheimer's, different kinds of dementia, which Alzheimer's is one of them, and they're going to help you. They have the experience over 20 years helping people uh, be, have better quality of life, and they will be happy to help you too. So you want to give Arden Courts a call and uh, tell them that you heard about uh, them on this program because they can help you get lots of different resources and information. So we're back here now. We're going to be wrapping up with my guest today, J.D. Dinicenzo, who's a reverse mortgage specialist. And J.D., thank you. Welcome Pleasure. back to our last segment. And you're going to be sharing with us a little bit more. Um, then we're going to get to how people can contact you. Mm-hmm. But we talked about ways people can use the money from reverse mortgages in different situations. Mm -hmm. So as we were at commercial, I was thinking, that sounds really good. Those two scenarios you gave us were awesome. But who shouldn't do a reverse mortgage? Are there a certain type of situation or certain people that would not be good candidates that should not even think about doing this? Can you share a little bit about that? Um, typical client that I advise not to do uh, a re- reverse mortgage is somebody that doesn't have a long time horizon. Uh, if they want to be in the house another couple of years and they want to move to independent living or assisted living or they want to move in with their children, it's not a wise uh, sol- solution, the reverse mortgage. Because it's not long term. Right. The because, longer the better. Right. In, 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 in any mortgage, okay, um, you're going to have some costs. Right. right. So the longer you amortize those costs, the lower becomes on, on an annual basis, right? So so the idea is the longer the homeowner wants to be in the home, the better it is. Is there any particular number of years as a minimum that you recommend? Well, we actually, one of the disclosures that we show is if they're in the house three, five, and seven years, okay. you, you can see how the, the effective rate of interest goes down. Okay. Uh, so... I would say probably a minimum of five years. You know what? I'm glad you said that. That was the that was the number I was thinking of, and you know why? Because when you're renting, like I have, you know, adult children, and they're renting, and they're thinking about buying a house, and I said, you know, you really shouldn't invest into a house unless you plan to live in it for at least five years, right? right? right. So it's the same thing that I give the advice the other way. You know, going forward, you mm-hmm. know, you really want to be able to build up equity in that house for five years, uh, recoup your costs with your closing costs before you have to mm-hmm. sell it off, and, you know, it, also the other improvements that you might be doing in your house. So I always um, said to my kids, you know, be there at least five years. So the same thing applies to a reverse mortgage. Yeah, yeah. and the other the other um, uh, instances where I re- advise people not to do a reverse mortgage is, some people come in and they say, you know, I want my child to have my home. Right. right? Um, I, I, I don't think it's a wise idea to encumber the home with any type of mortgage, forward or reverse, if if they want to be able to give that to their ch- child as their legacy. But isn't there other vehicles to leave your home to your children? They don't have to do a reverse mortgage to do that. Right. I, again, I would advise them not to do a reverse mortgage if their intention is to leave their home to their child. Right. There's other ways to sure. put in your will or yeah. other things that you need to talk up to your elder law attorney about that. Absolutely. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do we need to know about reverse mortgages um, and how can somebody contact you? So give me some last um comments about anything that you really need to tell us and tell them how to contact you so they can talk to you in person. Well, again, let me wrap up by saying I think reverse mortgages are a great solution for many people, not for everybody. Uh, And 
I'll tell you, every one of my clients is a different story, right? Uh, and, and I'll be more than happy to, to help anybody figure out whether it's the right solution for them. Uh, they can reach me in my office uh, at 561-864-2548. Again, it's 561-864-2548. I'm conveniently located uh, in Boca Raton, uh, Yamato and in Interstate 95. Great. Right. Um, and you can even call me on my cell phone if you want to. That's really? Nine. You're going to give us your personal cell phone? Absolutely. Okay, hurry up and give That's it to us. I can't wait. 901 553 Five, seven. And I want to just uh, tell your audience one last thing Okay. before I, uh, you wrap up. Uh, you should always remember and never forget, there are some times in order to move forward, you have to go reverse. There you go. You heard it from the best. So reverse mortgages, I hope you received a lot of great information. I know I did. I, I actually understand it so much better. So give JD a call. Oh, is there any charge for them to call you and talk to you? Absolutely not. No charge. There you go. So we bring the best to you for free. So give them a call. Call Arden Courts. Call Sharon Agate and, and call, call Sokoff Legal. And we'll see you next time on caregiversolutions.info. Thanks for joining us for this week's Caregiver Solutions with Marsha Teal. Join us next week as Marsha, who has 15 years of Alzheimer's disease and dementia care experience, brings you more needed information to help with the care of your loved one. This show can be seen again on caregiversolutions.info and questions can be left on the site, which may be used on the program to help others. See you next week for more Caregiver Solutions. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors.